We're here today with Matt Gorsey, Managing Director of Metallicity. Matt, thanks for your time. Thanks, Dave. Are you able to share some of the Metallicity history? Yeah, sure. So Metallicity listed on the ASX uh, approximately two years ago. It was on the back of the acquisition of uh, the world-class Admiral Bay Zinc project. And the listing at the time included the sale of a net smelter royalty uh, to resource capital funds, who then also became our biggest shareholder. Uh, resource capital funds at a two and a half billion dollar uh, mining private equity group uh, and supported us in terms of the listing, uh, the resource estimation and scoping study on Admiral Bay. And what are some of the activities that you've achieved on the project since listing? Sure, so the most important thing with Admiral Bay is really taking the, uh, the database apart uh, with respect to the resource and the previous uh, pre-feasibility studies. Doing a detailed audit on uh, the work that was done and then really recompiling uh, the mineral resource estimate which uh, we were able to publish uh, halfway through 2017, 2016, sorry, uh, which uh, became a, a mineral resource estimate of 170 million tonnes at uh, 7.5 cents zinc equivalent. Uh, on top of that was an exploration target range of up to 250 million tonnes, uh, again at 7.5 cents zinc equivalent, uh, and those combined would uh, clearly make uh, Admiral Bay the largest uh, zinc project in development anywhere in the world. So that was the first step. Uh, the second step was then to undertake a uh, scoping study to ascertain uh, the economics of the project and certainly ascertain uh, what the technical challenges would be. Uh, with any large scale uh, long life asset you're going to have some serious technical challenges, particularly one that sits at 1200 metres depth. Uh, and so that scoping study uh, was delivered uh, by SRK Consulting, um, independent technical experts at the end of uh, 2016. Uh, and that uh, again was a study which uh, defined the project as being technically feasible uh, and certainly uh, we've done our own work to ascertain what the economics of the project are and uh, while we can't publish those uh, on the ASX we're, we're certainly confident that uh, Admiral Bay is a project that uh, is very, very economic. And a project of this size and global significance, what sort of interest has it attracted? Yeah, really good interest. We're in uh, constant contact with you know, the top 20 sort of uh, mining companies in the world. Um, we're in constant contact with the biggest uh, zinc smelters in the world and clearly we've got existing relationships with uh, some of the bigger PE funds uh, globally. So we've recently signed a memorandum of understanding with China Min Metals. Um, China Min Metals are China's uh, biggest zinc producer and also China's biggest zinc smelter. Um, an enormous organisation, one that's got far reaches uh, or reaches into, into far ends of the world with respect to base metal projects. Uh, China Min Metals by way of uh, example uh, in 2016, their revenues were larger than the combined revenues of Vale, Rio Tinto and BHP. So we've got a really strong relationship with those guys and we see them pretty often in Beijing, uh, sharing a lot of um, our current pre-feasibility study work with them. Uh, we've recently just uh, commenced a metallurgical test work program with China Min Metals um, and that uh, obviously will, will deliver a result uh, to understand exactly what the uh, recoveries will be on the, uh, on the Admiral Bay ore. Um, as well as um, understanding what the final concentrate grade of zinc and lead will be. So we're really encouraged by that relationship and um, clearly a large organisation such as China Min Metals doesn't move quickly, uh, but it's certainly heading in the right direction and um, the ox is slow but the earth is patient. In terms of some of the milestones investors should be focused on over the coming three to six months? Yeah, so we commenced a pre-feasibility study on Admiral Bay uh, at the beginning of 2017. Uh, that's being done in two stages. The first stage is addressing some key um, technical uh, challenges that uh, came out of the scoping study. And they primarily relate to uh, the geotechnical competency of the, of the host rock, um, the hydrological um, competency of, uh, of the host rock, um, undertaking some metallurgical test work as uh, recently mentioned with China Min Metals. Uh, and also rebuilding the high grade zone uh, of Admiral Bay um, in terms of a mineral resource estimate. Now that currently sits at around 20 million tonnes at 10% and that alone, which only makes up about one tenth of the ore body, uh, that alone is one of the largest and highest grade uh, zinc lead deposits uh, in, uh, in Australia. So second stage of, uh, so the pre-feasibility stage one um, is near complete um, and once that's done we'll then step into PFS stage two which will be drilling the resource up to uh, the indicated category, such that we can then publish uh, you know, a pre-feasibility study uh, with all the accompanying uh, technical and economic uh, parameters. Matt, thanks for your time. Thanks, Dave.